Hi, Kendra here, and for today, I have a fun Halloween-themed video for you. For those of you who know my family, you know my boys love Halloween. They love all things creepy and spooky, of course, on a toddler level because they are three and five, but they do look forward to this holiday all year, and I love adding a little extra special to the season with fun crafts, themed books, DVDs, CDs, all the fun things I can get my hands on to kind of add a little more festivity to the season. Now this year I decided to do something a little bit different. I tend to gather all these fun craft projects and stickers and all these ideas that I have in my head and then I store them away thinking that I will get them out through the month and I don't always do it. Sometimes we'll pull a few things here or there, but it seems that once the holiday goes, I'm often packing these things back into a storage bin for the next year. This year, I decided to fix that solution and create a spooky fun center. I'm gonna give you a quick tour and show you how I put everything together and then break it all down for you and show you how we use everything. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Now that you've had an overview peek at our little spooky fun center, I wanted to bring you in for a closer peek to show you how we use our cart. Up on the top shelf, we just have some of our Halloween books. I love the artwork on Little Blue Trucks Halloween, so I went ahead and put this one in the front because it's just so cute. Just the pumpkin and a candle I picked up at Ross. This candle smells so good, I went ahead and got a second one on a later date because I loved it so much. I also found this little message board at Ross and it just says spooky fun here. Um, Target is so good about putting out really fun seasonal lights. It's kind of hard to see because it's so bright, but these are ghosts and it has, they have different ones. Like this one has a bow tie with a little curly on his head and it's got a girl one with a bow on her head. Uh, but they're just cute and kind of whimsical. More fun than spooky for little kids. I also picked up this little banner right here at Target. This was over in their dollar spot section, which is now called what? Like Bullseye's Playground. It's actually a lot longer, but I cut it so that it wasn't covering up too much of the second shelf. I think it was around maybe $3. And then over here on this second shelf, I have DVDs. So these are all of our Halloween DVDs. Some are ours and some I rented from the library. Just a little tip. You can go into your library app on your phone, type Halloween, and it'll pull up all of the fun Halloween DVDs and you can just click away and add them to your holds and your library will, will let you know when they're ready and you can pick them up. We've really enjoyed doing that for all the different holidays. Um, I put a little cup of crayons so that these are ready to go. We love these things. They're those, um, you roll them and the, the Crayola comes out. So we have those in the crayons, but we also have some of the pencils, the colored pencils in that same kind of style. I don't know, what are these called? Twistables or, let's see. Okay, it's not focusing, but it is called Twistables. I'm surprised I remember that. 
And then right here, this is just a notepad that I picked up from the Target bullseye section. It's just blank inside, um, but isn't it so cute? I think it came with a pack of four, and these are lift -a flap books. I don't know, we, I think my boys are probably a little bit too old for lift -a flap, but probably not because they still love them and we get lots of use out of our lift -a flap. So whenever I see them at Goodwill or thrift stores, I always pick them up. I think these were actually purchased at Ross though. Their, their books are priced pretty well. I think these are around $2 each. All right, and moving on down to our bottom shelf, I have a jar of ghost. I just put those same lights that you saw around the message board inside a little ball jar. Behind there is another one of those notebooks, the black cat ones that I got from Target. And I'll show you the inside. But I picked these up for my boys just to kind of have fun with and create whatever they want. They can color in it. I bought some Halloween stickers also at Target that they can fill these with. Um, it's really just for them to do whatever they want with. And then over here we have more Halloween books and just a fun little pumpkin. So um, whenever I first put this together, the books were kind of sliding all over the place. So I hopped on to Amazon and I just picked up these really simple bookends. There's really nothing fancy about them, but I wanted something that wasn't very big or bulkier. It would just kind of like do the job, but wouldn't take away too much of the space. Um, I will link these down below as well, and they came with a pack of two. So I have one in the front, one in the back over here to kind of stabilize that, and then I just put one up here to kind of keep these DVDs together. We do love reading fun themed holiday books. Obviously, I like to collect books throughout the year. I find a lot of really great ones at Goodwill, so I'll just grab them whenever I see them when they're in good condition um, or in clearance sections at the end of the season. But I didn't want to only just put books here. I wanted to have some fun activities as well. So that's why we have the DVDs here where they can pick and choose whenever we're ready to watch a movie. We've got a little invitation to play with these notebooks and some crayons and some colors. Everything's right here for them to grab and make a mess of if they want to. Back behind here, there's a couple of holiday, um, or not holiday, but Halloween coloring books. And then over in this little, in this little suitcase, which isn't the prettiest thing, but it's cute and it serves a purpose. I also picked this up at a thrift store. I have more Halloween crafts. A lot of things I like to get at Dollar Tree and I will just kind of collect them when I see them and gather them. So these are little felt stickers. Um, they're already sticky on the back. They could put those in their little black cat books if they wanted to. And a little Frankenstein painting. I picked up these really, kind. these are kind of creepy actually, but glow masks. These were from Dollar Tree. One for each boy because you gotta keep it equal, you know? And then some glow balloons. A pack of little pirate stickers. They're pretty cute. A monster game. And we have really used this a lot. So I did have some puffy gel stick things in here that the boys used. I'll show you what they did with those. We've been painting a lot. So, so far having everything located where we can see it and get to it has really worked out great for us this year because we've actually used a good amount of everything that we've so purchased. There you have it, our spooky fun center. It was a lot of fun kind of grabbing things and throwing this together. And I'm so glad that I decided to do this because like I said, we have used a lot more stuff this year than we've really used in the past. It's just so accessible and easy for us to grab. Now I know this may not be um, aesthetically pleasing to a lot of people to have something like this set up in your living room, but I kind of figured that I do have a three and five year old and that is the season we're in. And so having a little fun cart like this, even though it may not look beautiful in my space, it's fun and it serves a purpose and it's a big O invitation to play, right? It just says, come look at me, grab the books, grab some crayons, get creative and have fun. And it really has done all of those things for us this um, Halloween season. So I'm gonna give you a little look at some of the things the boys have created so far from this center and I will catch you on the next video. I'll be back to show you some of our most favorite Halloween books.